<laughs> will it kill you? No. Will it make you wish you're dead? Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Here goes nothing. Here goes nothing. No turning back now, huh? Ooh. Hey guys, I'm Brad Leone. We're here in Southeast Connecticut with the lovely Alexis Nicole. That's me. And we're gonna be foraging for a cocktail, but I'd love to be able to like make sure what we pick. It's safe. Yeah, yeah, we'll do it together. You want a cocktail? I want us to stay alive. We can make That's both right. of those things happen. Let's take a peek over by these cedars too, because sometimes Ooh, yes. I find like a lot of little weird stuff growing over Ooh, here. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, like lemon clover guys, the wood sorrel. They're so good. Oh, these ones. Yeah. Nature's lemon heads. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think there's a mm. garnish on top. Aren't they delicious? What? All right, well, let's pick a couple of these on our forage for the cocktail. Yeah. Here. And what were these called again? These are wood sorrel. Wood sorrel. Delicious. I think we could use this as like a nice little, little lily pad garnish. Well, lily pad on our garnish cocktail. exactly floating on a little, top. Little, 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 little mm. citrusy nibble. Wood sorrel. Wood sorrel. Specimen Forage. number one. <laughs> this is the autumn olive. Whoo! That was good. Tannic. Tannic, but so tart like and they delicious. They feel like they taste like they're good for you. Yes. And I think, <laughs> and I think these like muddled with some honey. And the aroma Ooh. berries back at back at the garden. I think that would be a beautiful base little to build base, a cocktail right? on. Oh no! Well, I want to show you up here too because like it's a little bit of a plateau and it dips down. There's a little creek and it's just like a little oh. bit of a different little like micro like ecosystem. And oh, <laughs> what, 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 what happened? Ivy. That this is oh. poison ivy. Oh my god! Yeah, it's and just, it's it's just a massive one. <laughs> it has climbed this tree. <laughs> well, first of all, it's like three leaves is a big indicator. Yeah and they usually have a little bit of an oily sheen. Mm -hmm. This old papa, not so much. Yeah, not so much. I probably wow. would've got smacked right in the face with this thing. Having fun adventuring. <laughs> so we are like walking through a carpet of, of wintergreen. We found it. We found it. So you can just pick them, break them apart a little bit. And then if you wanna make a flavor extract with them, you muddle them in a little bit of like a vodka. Oh, it's, it's, got, it's fragrant. Oh, so Just fragrant. You can, it, it smells like the gum. Oh my God. <laughs> let's add it in with our wood sorrel. Yeah, oh my gosh. Yes, let's go ahead and gather we'll a few leaves. Just pick the leaves, right? Let's, you know, let's make this cocktail together. You know, we got our ingredients. We're gonna add, let's say, half a cup of Arona berries. Two tablespoons of autumn olives. <laughs> and I'm gonna add a little bit of honey. And then when you guys weren't looking, I went and picked a couple blackberries. How did those come right. from? These ones are nice, they grow here, but you can you know, use whatever you get at the, super, at the supers markets. Yeah. And I'm gonna peel a little nub of ginger. Yes. And all the juice is going, pinch of salt. Just a little pinchy poo Just a little there. pinchy poo. Ooh, a little lime. A little lime right through the mixture. Juices are happening. I am breaking down cell walls in these berries, and also we are forcefully incorporating the flavors together. It smells really good. Look at that. And then here, we'll, we'll do it in stages. Ooh, and then mush it through. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> right, so let's build our cocktail. We got our syrup yes. all set. I think it's dialed. All right, first, we're going to take our twist cap off of the shaker. Beautiful. Take the lid off. Beautiful. We're going to load it up about three quarters of the way with ice. It's a one ounce little pour. What? OK, well, that's genius. I love a multi-tool. Me too. Two ounces of white rum. Beautiful. You could use mezcal, you could use vodka, you can use whatever you'd like. And if you don't want to use a booze, you can also do a non-alcoholic cocktail. Just pour this syrup that we made over a little seltzer, over some ice, home run derby. We're gonna do one ounce of our beautiful foraged syrup. Yep. Look at that color. Then I'm gonna add a Ooh, really cool, awesome winter green. Winter green. Look at that little cluster, Look at little five-leaf cluster. Okay. Perfect. Gives those a little light bruise, even though we're gonna shake the heck out of them. Yeah. And then uh, that's it. This goes on first. Just pops right on to most tumblers. And then we screw that right back on, making a nice tight fit. And I like to shake it for about 30 seconds. Okay. <laughs> I believe. All right, tag in. Okay, you've done a lot today. I'll fill our glass up with some ice. All right, 30 seconds, chef. Screw that right off. Built-in strainer right in the top, hello. Oh, look at that color, huh? Beaut. That's gorgeous. Sure is. And then we'll we'll give it a little garnish. All right, I'm a big fan of that wood sorrel. We'll put a little- Ooh, a little sprig of the autumn sprig olive, of the autumn olive, olive in there. Well, we're a good team. Yeah. Cheers. A little cheers. Ting, ting. 
Oh my God, it's so good, it's I'm just so, kidding. I know, I was like, I don't know what's in your cup, but my cup's great. Oh, we are on to something. I feel like we might actually be very good at our jobs.